What do? Well, no, because you don't do an introduction piece. Generally, oh. when you do it this way. Oh, that's true, because there's no reason to. Right. I don't know. What's the big news today? Now, a big news today is Obama says there will be no cuts in programs. There's only going to be raised in rev raising in revenue because there are too many people that are being protected by the uh, safety net to cut. Said what? cut. They said when the economy is stronger, then they can discuss cuts, but not until then. Military gets cut, of course, and all the people that will lose their jobs as a result of that. But they said Obama doesn't really care about anybody. They said last night, if you're white and you're not a woman, he doesn't give a damn about you. Ah, and of course, this is not a spring chicken. We're here, we're here with Old Cam for comments on the headlines of today. And besides that, okay, that is the big news today, right? Yep. Yep. And the other big news is we're finding out the Super Bowl wasn't quite as super as they thought. No, what happens is they do overnight ratings in, in, big, in big markets. But the problem is, is when they do the thing, they find out that most of the viewers came in after the power went off, not before. So it only ended up the third largest Super Bowl in history and didn't, it wasn't the third, third largest watched television event ever because it's impossible. Because in those days, 40, 50 million people at a time were watching the bad shows. Oh, uh, well, they, actually, I think they, didn't they have more people watching TV that had television sets before? Yeah, there are not as many watching I mean, TV sets. I mean, here's the funny part is, there used to be more TVs in households um, because more there were more um, well, televisions they, per household, but with HD they went from s mm -hmm. about six point seven per household to two. Yeah, because so there's always this question: is how many televisions? And usually for the Super Bowl, it's usually something where everybody gets together and watches it. Yeah, but you right, can't you cannot count how many people are watching. You can only count how many TV sets mm -hmm. and because they basically uh, when you fill out a diary, well, I, there's there are 89 people here at my party. No. They don't, they don't, they they don't do that. It's just per set. I know, and they're still doing it by those diaries things yeah, too. Yeah, because it's more, the, the diaries are less phony than the other method, but they still could be rigged. I, I, I participated in a, in a rigged thing while I was in college to see if it could be done. Uh -huh. Because we did a thing for a television special. The, the former had like the highest rating ever in the history of television because everybody, everybody, they, the, ha the husband knew who had the diaries, which they changed, and he had everybody watch the show. Hey, hey, here's ten bucks. I'd like you to give you give an opinion for ten dollars. Of course, of course. But they did throw it all out because it invalidated the whole thing for a week. And Obama targets S and P for exercising their freedom of speech rights. Well, no, Obama's saying that they're not they're not trying to punish uh, them for their views. They're trying to. They said that what they did was they overinflated people's. Uh, uh, you know, uh, they overinflated the credit rating for bad companies, and therefore they have to be brought to justice for what they did. Well, no, the Constitution of the United States allows them to make, a, make an objective opinion. Mm -hmm. If they thought, based upon information supplied to them by the United States government, that things were doing better than what they were doing, they gave the ratings based upon information they were given. They, what they did was they devaluated the, okay, our country has never taken a hit under any president for its credit rating in the history of its nation until Obama come, and he's going to take another hit very shortly because uh, Standard & Poor's said we're not doing as good as what, the, what Wall Street says because there's no little investors, it's all institutional investors. Mm. And Iran launches monkey into space showing missile progress. Wait a minute, did they actually launch a real monkey? Yeah, you know, and they, they're Why? saying, oh, the, the Arab Anti-Defamation League got on the cane because he said that we were launching monkeys into space that were real monkeys. The, I, he didn't mean it like the Arabs are trying to, well, he's inferring that they put a, that uh, that Muslims are monkeys. No, they and, put a real monkey. No, they didn't. They said that uh, we put real monkeys into space, not like the like Moran is doing, is what he said, because he's saying that it wasn't to insinuate they're putting Muslims into space. It would insinuate they're not putting anything up there. Oh, a real monkey versus what the Iranians said they did. Oh, they, I th you know I was thinking, of course, all the animal rights companies are going to come. No, out this is the Muslim <laughs> uh, Arab Defamation League said he was insulting them by insinuating that they put an Arab in oh, space. Oh, okay. No, he, he was saying they didn't put. We actually launched monkeys. They didn't even launch a real one. Oh, because okay. they're finding out most of the Muslim, most of Iran's things are somewhat farcical. Like their stealth fighter, they can't even get the cockpit down. Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, they, 
okay, a lot of what Iran tells people in the Muslim press, like Al Jazeera, have no truth to it whatsoever. That, that's okay. That's why when you hear about all these Super Bowl commercials that were banned, yeah. going, huh? Yeah, well... What was the purpose? That, why would that be banned? Okay, the problem is they said that, um, that if you... Uh, you know which people uh, pissed off the president. Those are the ones that were also attacked. If you were a sponsor that didn't support the president of the United States and his viewpoints, uh, one interest group after another jumped all over you. Mm -hmm. I mean, things that some people thought were absolutely funny, the interest groups went after with a passion. Oh, an official semi-automatic used to kill ex-Navy SEAL. But it, it, I know, but it's a semi-automatic, meaning it has to. you have to pull it one shot at a time. And they're saying, I love the President of the United States. The President of the United States this morning. Well, it, it's a possibility that if they had, if they, if they would have been this way and would have been this way, that these people wouldn't have been killed. And then, I love it, they did a, like a 70-some-year-old grandmother with a, a single, you know, with the, basically with a single loader, like yeah. the military uses. She, she rang up, she pulled off more shots in the same amount of time Oh, the she guy did? did with his, with his, it depends upon the person using the gun. If you're really good, I can sit there and use a single shot, uh, you know, a thing other than what the president was using. I can use, a, uh, I can actually use what he's doing and hit four, four skeets with only one shot in the chamber each time. Really? It's not, oh. it's nothing, it's, I'm not even really that fast at it, but that's oh. what a person who knows what he's doing can do. And Obama to raise taxes to get out of debt. I know. We can't cut our way out of debt, but we can raise taxes our way out of debt. Unfortunately, no country in the world is raising taxes except the French because it doesn't work. But the more socialist the country is, the more likely it is to raise taxes, except in China where they know they don't have any money. They, they print it in Russia, which doesn't have any money. So you can't raise tax. You, you know, you, you can't, if your socialist country is totally flat-ass broke, you can't print more money. South Korea and U.S. begin drills amid North Korea nuclear threat. Oh, yeah, because they're getting ready to set off bomb number three. You know, basically the Democrats, uh, this was Bill Clinton's problem. Bill Clinton trusted them to do what they wanted. Uh, and uh, and Obama's trusting them to do what they, you know, you, well, you give them all this money and they'll help the people. No, they put it in the nuclear weapons program. <laughs> and after Harvard visit, dozens injured in bus crash. Well, I know, actually, well, I think 20-some people end up dying from that thing. The bus that they were using, okay, it wasn't even supposed to be on the road, so I want to know, since you have to go through these checkpoints, you know, no matter what, even if it's, uh, you know, they have a thing which basically allows you to bypass the checkpoint with an overhead signal. Since it wasn't approved, how could it get through the checkpoint? Mm -hmm. And Bill Clinton to speak at Ed Cox's funeral in New York City. Well, he was a liberal Democrat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a Paraguay presidential hopeful of Oviedo dies in crash. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that what they, a surprise! Uh, that the, they get rid of a guy that's got to take a socialist's place and he gets killed by accident in a plane crash. Yes, by accident. But it is, folks. Don't fly on planes where presidential hopefuls that are of the opposition party in South America because you end up dying. <laughs> that would be smart. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Iran hinges on nuclear talks with six powers of the U.S. Well, yeah, because it wants to talk directly to the United States because as, uh, as, uh, as the United States, we're no longer talking about stopping. Mm -hmm. We're talking about allowing them to have nuclear weapons because they won't actually fire at anybody. Mm -hmm. Yes, they will. Okay. They, even though their web, they, even though their rocket program doesn't work well, it doesn't make any difference. You fire it towards that part of the world, and it's going to hit somebody. So if it hits a Muslim, I don't care. It basically shows you can do it. And Kerry makes calls abroad, and first weekend as Secretary of State. Uh, I know. Oh, so Kerry actually is the Secretary oh, yeah, of State. Oh yeah, they now? didn't. Okay. Oppose, they didn't. They, they said they very seldom oppose the nominees for those positions. They're going to give Hegel, even though they know Hegel is a complete idiot. He doesn't even know what the Secretary of State's job is supposed to be. And uh, they said he, he, he's there because uh, they, they, they just wanted to, uh, Secretary of Defense, they just wanted to piss off the Republicans by nominating an incompetent to the job because they're only going to do what Obama orders anyway. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Skier, Lindsay. Oh, and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. And if you, as we find out too often, time is always your greatest enemy. I know, because we have a lot more news. 